This is just an update, actually, to the video I put up Saturday morning. Woman 52, who plowed her BMW through crowd of BLM protesters, leaving six losers injured, is issued with a desk appearance ticket and released within hours by NYPD. Kathleen Castillo accelerated her BMW into a crowd of protesters in Manhattan. And again, all of this I talked about for the Saturday morning video. She was detained a short distance from the scene and issued with a desk appearance ticket by the NYPD before being released. She could face up to a year in prison on reckless endangerment charges. Six protesters were left with non-life-threatening injuries after being struck by Casillo's sedan. Demonstrators were gathered in support of detainees at New Jersey ICE facility. Casillo says she attempted to flee the scene in fear for her life. After demonstrators surrounded her car and began taunting her, she will appear in court next year. I put the clip of the video in my Saturday video. Let's see if they've got the clip here. It's these BLM animals that are down there roaming around the streets. Police, just letting them roam the streets. Police, keep them in check. If you keep them off the street, we won't have these issues. Oh, look, here we go. According to TMZ, Casillo says the activists surrounded her car as it slowed along the street before they began pounding on the pricey vehicle. She claims that protesters then began screaming white privilege biznatch, prompting her to fear for her life and flee from the scene. And with the number of white people there that are out there for Black Lives Matter, I don't doubt that they would turn on her and call her that because I think there's only one thing more ruthless than a group of black people within Black Lives Matter. One more, only one more group that hates white people more than black people that are down with Black Lives Matter, and that's white people that are down with Black Lives Matter because they feel like they have to up their game to prove their worth to those black people that they're trying to be subservient to. Casillo reportedly does not recall hitting anybody as she put her foot down on the accelerator to escape the fracas. All right, let's check out the video again. It's the same one I played for the Saturday video, so I'll just show you about 30 seconds of it. Let's take a look at that beginning part again real quick. I don't know why there was a rainbow flag there. We're talking about an ICE facility that they're protesting, so I don't know why the rainbow flags were brought out. Let's go back to the video real quick, and you'll see them surrounding the car before she even takes off. But it's, it's brief. There. Why are you surrounding the car? Green light she had. And why? Look at how many of them there are. Bunch of animals. Disgusting. Here she is right here. Mm, doesn't exactly look like the most... What would I say? She doesn't exactly look like the individual you'd expect to be driving a pricey car. <laughs> I said before in my video that I put up on Saturday morning, this could be the punch of a commie. It'd probably take five of them to make a dent. Or that could be a commie's forehead right there. That could be the body of one of these scumbag BLM losers right there. If so, nice. And there's our princess with the pink bike, again highlighted in my previous video. That said, that's just the update. We'll have to monitor what happens with the case next year. Let's see what the comments say. And there's only one comment. Proper decision. <laughs> and he's got about a three to one up to down vote margin. There's only one comment. And everybody's showing love. I guess we all decided that, hey, this is the comment that pretty much says how everybody feels. <laughs> Proper decision. Let's give them a thumbs up for that. All right, everybody. Like I said, and like I mentioned in my previous video about it, if I was to tell my wife something and she was in the same situation, tell her to hit the gas as well. Any of you females, not making it patriarchal, just showing some love. 5'2", five 5'3", five 5'4", five unless you're an MMA fighter, Ninja Warrior, one of the CrossFit girls that can kick butt, unless you're one of them, and they start pounding on your car and calling you all kinds of foul names, watch out. I told you, these white people in BLM, they, they're worse than the black ones because they feel like they've got to do more to show their subservience to the black members of BLM. So hit the gas. Guys, if you're smaller, if you don't want to fight, that's cool. Stay away from this if you can. No one says you have to fight. If you're not a fighter, then floored as well. If you want to fight, well, 
Hopefully you've got a car full of your homies with you. And if this happens, don't just don't pull the gun just yet. Try to get away first. And then if you can't and you need to pull it, and if you need to lay one of these scumbags down to save your own life, then self-defense. If it turns out that she was acting in self-defense or in fear for her life, because we've seen these incidences happen, if it turns out that they find that that's the case, then she should get off. If she can't prove it, though, that's another story. I'm not going to be hurt by any of these losers getting run over. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and be well.